Jacqueline. And I'm Cyan. And I'm Sage. And today we're going to do a making and coding project in the kitchen. You know, with a lot of parents working at home. And all of the schools closing down. I know. Due to the coronavirus, we thought we would do a helpful video every Friday afternoon that you can do in the kitchen with your kids. So what are we making today, Cyan? <clears throat> We're making paintings with circuit play rats. That's right. So these are some examples of some of the paintings we've made with Circuit Playground Express. So let's take a look. What is a Circuit Playground Express, Diane? Can you tell us? A Circuit Playground Express is basically... It's like a mini computer, right? Yeah. What does it have on there? Can you show the... It the... has lights. Mm -hmm. it different has colored lights, right? Different colored lights. It has buttons um, A and B. I can't tell which one right mm -hmm. now. It has all the stuff that a computer has. Yep. It has a speaker, right? A speaker here and a microphone. It also has a temperature sen sensor and a light sensor. And right. this is where you plug the USB in. And That's this right. This is where you plug the battery in. Very good, yeah. And it also has a motion sensor, so an accelerometer. It can tell if you move it around. And this is the reset button. Mm hmm. And we'll be using that in a little bit. So it's just like a mini computer that you can program, and we can make like interactive art displays with it. All right. So, what kind of stuff do we need to get started with this project? Hmm? Oh, um, what um, do we, need? we need, um, like, um, so acrylic paint, acrylic paint, acrylic paint, that's right, what um, else? if you want, you can and add brushes, brushes. yeah, paint and bushes, sorry, yes. yep. um, if you want, you can also add, mm -hmm. gems and glitter, gems and, and glitter, and other, yeah. other, I mean, other stuff, yeah. yeah take, but but what's the first thing you need? We need the, these canvases. Oh yeah, we right? need canvases. These little canvas boards for and for our we painting. also need micro bits. You need circuit playground. Circuit correctly. playground. Correct. You'll also need um, some scissors and tape to tape the battery packs on the back of the um, canvases, and then a, a small sharp knife. Uh, and we'll show you how to use that in a minute. Okay, I think that's all we need. Oh. Most importantly, you need a Circuit Playground Express. Now this is the Circuit Playground Express base kit that you can buy from adafruit.com uh, and it's about $30. Um, and then inside it comes uh, with the Circuit Playground Express board, um, a USB cable, a battery pack, and some batteries. So very important, that's the key ingredient for this whole project. <laughs> All right, step one, what do we have to do? Um, so on your canvas, mm -hmm. you have to you have to draw your what you want to paint. Mm -hmm. And what and, do you also have to do? And you all have to see where where do you want to put the circuit playground? Mm -hmm. And you're well soon gonna be painting. Yeah. This is one that mom drew. That's right. I, I put it as the flower. But what are some other ideas for how you could incorporate your circuit playground into the painting? You could also do it as a sun. Okay, yeah, kind of like you have yours here, yeah. right? And that. And this is Sage's, that's right. Which is, Sage, do you want to explain what this is? Uh, so, um, this is a painting of um, an ocean and a fish jumping out of it. Mm -hmm. um, I made this for the um, sun. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So once you, can you also have, use it as the oh, body of a fish. That's right. This is Andrea's, huh? Looks so nice. So once you have kind of um, a light outline of your painting, then what? <clears throat> then it's time to start painting. That's right. What do you recommend wearing when you're painting with acrylics? Um, wear clothes that it's okay to get stained and never come off. Because acrylics, when they come on your clothes, they will never wash off. Is that right? Okay. So yes, so wear some old clothes, protect your surfaces um, when you do the painting. Now, um, if you would like, um, you can also add some glitter to your painting before your paint has completely dried. 
You can sprinkle some glitter on there. Um, Mom's a big fan of glitter. Yes, yeah, so moms out there, I highly recommend you do the glittering outside the house when you sprinkle it on. Um, and then we also had some of these nice jewels, huh, so that you can glue onto the painting too, yeah. if you so incline. So let your painting dry, let all of the glue and the glitter dry. Once it's dried, then you can attach your Circuit Playground Express. Now you can attach it either with glue or with a tape, with a double-sided sticky tape. So in this case, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of my Circuit Playground Express here, just like that. And then I'm going to put it into my painting, just like that. You may need some time for it to dry, but once it's dried and it's not gonna go anywhere, then you want to attach the battery pack. So remember, as we talked about, this is the battery port here on the Circuit Playground Express. So you're gonna to wanna to puncture a tiny little hole in your painting, just like that. You killed the painting. In order to insert the battery pack. Now, if your battery pack comes with a little clip on the back, you can just pull that off like that. Um, I find it to be a little bit easier. Then open up the back, insert the batteries. Cyan, do you remember which way goes which? So if you look on, if you look inside, there's a minus and a plus. That stands for negative or positive. And if you look on the battery, uh, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Right there. It's it says plus or minus. Mm -hmm. You're gonna match the pluses up and the minus is up. Mm -hmm. I would suggest putting the minus in first to the spring area, yeah. And so let's go ahead and put all of our batteries in the battery pack the right way and then put on the back. Then we're going to thread this battery cable through the hole we just punctured in our painting. So thread it through here. You're killing the painting. No, 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 it's, <laughs> you're not even gonna notice it. And then insert the battery cable into your Circuit Playground Express. It goes in a specific way, so just make sure the groove is uh, positioned at the top here. Yep. All right. And then pull the rest of the cable through so you don't see the rest of the cable. Um, then um, on the back, you're gonna want to tape the battery pack into the frame of your, um, of your painting. Yep, we have some very brightly colored duct tape here that we can use to do that with. So let me go ahead and cut off a piece of duct tape. Unicorns, pink unicorns, my favorite. Um, and then just tape it on. Now if you're gonna hang your painting up, I suggest you tape it somewhere centered so that the painting uh, doesn't tilt to one side. All right, so there I have my flower. Uh, with a Circuit Playground Express right in the middle. Now for the fun part. Now that we've done all of the making part, what time is it? It's time to do some coding. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now to code your Circuit Playground Express, you're gonna wanna use the, <laughs> the USB cable that came with your kit. It's just a regular micro USB cable. Uh, you're gonna wanna plug the big end of the USB cable into the computer. So Sian, can you please do that? It's on this side. Okay. It's on the side. And then you're gonna wanna plug the small end of the USB cable into the silver port on your Circuit Playground Express. That's right. Now it should automatically, all the lights should turn green and it should show up as a USB drive on your computer when you do that. If all the lights do not turn green, what are you gonna do? Then, See if something went mm -hmm. wrong. Maybe press and release the reset button. That works. So the reset button is this little button right in the middle of the board right there. It's so tiny. Yep. Tiny so button. press and release. And then press and release again until you see all the lights turn green. Okay. Then you can go to... Open your browser. Mm -hmm. To what? Makecode.com? Makecode.com. You'll get to the Make Code main website, and then what do you do, Cyan? You click, 
You click the thing that looks like the thing in your painting. Yep, the Circuit Playground Express. <laughs> and then you'll be get taken to the home page. And then go ahead and click New Project to open up a new Circuit Playground Express project. And then this is the coding editor. On the left side, you'll see something that looks like a Circuit Playground Express. What does that do, Cyan? That is basically your simulator. It's gonna show you what's gonna happen when you download it onto your Circuit Playground. That's right. All right, so now what's what do you wanna do for your Circuit Playground? What kind of light animation do you want? I'm gonna go to light and I'm gonna click show ring mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put it in my forever. Okay. And, and then I'm gonna make it yellow because I want to do the sun. Oh, okay. Maybe a couple nice. of them orange. A couple orange. Do you want to do maybe an animation, pull out another show ring and kind of have them animate back and forth? Yeah. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do yellow and I'm going to do yellow and orange and then I'm going to do yellow and red. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. And then again, you can see your simulator, how that's going to look. Is that kind of the effect you want? Actually, I'm going to switch. So I'm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'm going to do yellow here. Okay. And red here. Nice. Okay, now look at your simulator. That looks pretty cool. Do you um, want to change the brightness at all or no? The brightness is pretty pretty good. Um, so if you go to the light toolbox drawer, there is a set brightness block right here. Yep, and you can set the brightness. I think the default brightness is 20. But if you want it to be a bit brighter, you can make that a little bit higher. Thirty. Okay. Good job. All right. Now, what do we do? Are you happy with this design? Yep. So okay. I'm gonna click download. All right. Now, what that does is it saves your program as a file in your downloads folder. So if you click on this dot dot dot, uh, nope. Just click on the, or just open up your downloads folder. Go to downloads. You should see the program here. Mm -hmm. It's called Circuit Playground Dash Untitled. Yeah. And then what do you want to do with that? Drag and drop it into where it says C Play Boot. That's your Circuit Playground. Mm -hmm. <gasps> and look at that. There's your sun painting. What do you think? Woo! Looks pretty good, huh? Uh-huh. All right, so this project only takes about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Um, if you're interested in tuning in to more projects, we're gonna be doing one every Friday afternoon. So, uh, yeah, so you can pull out the cord, you can turn on your battery pack, and then you can hang your beautiful Circuit Playground Express painting in your room. Thanks everyone. Bye.